back again with another music video reaction. My name is Josh. Thanks for checking out the channel. If you click the thumbnail, you're to check out some Tom McDonald. So if you're unfamiliar with Tom McDonald, I believe he's a Canadian artist that has been in the U.S. for a good long while now, but has just been dropping all kinds of truth bombs and some, I guess people would say controversial things, even though when you look at them, I don't know how you could imagine a lot of this stuff to be controversial. It's just not what currently is being told we're supposed to think, which uh, I don't very much like. I actually like when people are critical thinkers, and I think that's something that Tom McDonald absolutely is. He's also a good artist. I mean, he definitely dabbles in a bunch of different genres. I mean, mostly I know him from rap but he also sings a good bit in a lot of his different songs and he sings really well too, which kind of surprised me, but he's very consistent also about putting out new music and music videos. In my experience, granted, it hasn't been a super long time, but a new one just came out and it's called Stronger Version. So let's go ahead and check this out. We've had such a variety as of late. I mean, there's been some anthem type things with him and him and Adam Calhoun. And of course, Nova Rockefeller's always there with him. So let's go ahead and check this one out and see how it is. All right, let's get it. Couple hundred thousand cigarette butts A million beers or maybe more Ooh. A couple dozen times I mess things up But I'm moving on from before Ooh. People don't like me for things I forgot But I can't pretend to be someone I'm not Stronger version. All right. Well, I mean, as I was just saying before the video started, I mean, he's an artist that doesn't exactly have just one genre. I mean, he does sing a good bit, and then it just came out with this song. And this was very different than most of the songs that I've heard him sing. I mean, I've heard a couple that were a little more melodic and more singing focused, but this one paired with the visuals and the actual message that was there. I really like this one. I mean, it's just such a, it's a positive song that I think so many people, I mean, I think literally almost everybody can relate to. I mean, everybody's trying to be, I would say at least a better version of themselves consistently. And if you're not doing that, I don't know what you're really trying to do, but 
it's so, again, familiar. And it's very easy, I think, for people to relate to this song. A couple of the things that really just stood out to me was like, people hate me for things that I don't even remember doing. And I think that's something that a lot of us can learn from is the fact that it, we are very easy in our culture. And again, social media helps that a lot is to be able to jump on people and hate people or hate groups of people so quickly and so easily. But then we also don't forget that because again, whether it be like old tweets or old posts, you can pull back up and be like, oh, well, this person that said this 20 years ago, that's exactly what they still think right now. And it's like, no, people change, but we have to allow them to change. And I think that's something that we can all take to heart, myself included, because it's one where I'll see some people out there that are saying some crazy stuff. And I'm like, oh, well, that person is now on my crap list forever. And I'm never going to take anything they say seriously. And I'm like, wait a minute, I've said some really stupid things in my past. And I've definitely changed a lot of my thought patterns and just what I really kind of genuinely believe in life. So I mean, people can do that. And I think it has to be something that's consistently brought back up. And maybe that's not the main point of this song. But that was one of the big things that I really took from that. And I think it is important. But man, that was so catchy. I'm definitely going to be playing this one some more. And the visuals were just so neat and very, again, just almost pleasant and happy. Like he's dancing like nobody's looking and doesn't care what other people think. I mean, it's just a strong message. And I really, really like that. Yeah, let me know what you guys thought of this. And let me know some other ones to check out by him that I haven't gotten to yet. Specifically some other singing ones like this. I'll give him a listen. Let me know in the comments section. Don't forget, like, share, subscribe. Go and hit that subscribe button if you would. That'd be fantastic. And as always, you're awesome. Peace out.